The journey from South Georgia across the Scotia Sea to the Falkland Islands took just over two days. Along the way we were fortunate enough to see plenty of petrels and albatross flying very close to the ship. When photographing birds, there really is no substitute for patience. Although cameras with a zoom lens will be able to capture birds flying from some distance, it is much better to wait until they fly closer to you. You can use continuous shooting mode, but I don't find it as essential. On this fine morning, we're just approaching Stanley. We're going to go through uh, an area called the Narrows, which gets us into Stanley Port proper. Um, we're going to explore all day in Stanley. Really looking forward to getting off the ship after another couple of sea days. And uh, yeah, just seeing, seeing what it's like in the town and talking to some of the locals. It should be good. It was bizarre walking into Stanley, as so far from the UK, I came across a local Land Rover dealership and a Waitrose store, which sold iron brew. We've just had some fish and chips in the Globe Tavern behind me, which is the oldest bar in Stanley. Um, the weather's improving slightly, so we'll go for a bit more of a wander this afternoon. Another great photo opportunity for me, Ross Road. This is on top of Ross Road West and East. So the main tourist attractions in Stanley appear to be the museum, the cathedral, and over my shoulder, the post office, where there's a load of people just sending postcards back home, myself included. It'll probably take about three weeks for it to arrive. A visit to the museum highlighted the strategic importance of Stanley and the Falkland Islands in the previous centuries, when many ships stopped for repairs and supplies. Some of the ship names are now etched into the hills across the bay from the town. So it's turned out to be a beautiful afternoon here in Stanley. We're just heading back to the ship now and we'll probably grab a coffee on the way back. Um, and hopefully if the weather is good tomorrow, we will actually be leaving Stanley either tonight or tomorrow morning and going in search for some wildlife. So this is our last day um, of being able to go on land. We're currently approaching the West Falklands and overnight we were expecting some fairly bad weather which doesn't seem to have materialised. Um, so we're hoping that we might get actually get on shore and be able to see some of the rockhopper penguins and some of the destiny albatross this morning. Um, the winds are still quite strong, 35 to 40 knots, so uh, we'll need to just work out once we get to our first landing site whether or not we can get off the ship with the Zodiacs. But as you can see in the background, beautiful day, irrespective of whether or not we get off the ship. Our penultimate stop of the cruise was to Saunders Island. The beaches on the island were beautiful and the landscape provided a habitat where penguin and sheep coexisted. The aptly named rockhopper penguins were fun to watch as they jumped up and down the hills. Albatross build their turret nests on the hills facing into the wind to make takeoff easier. Their chicks at this stage were big balls of grey fluff. Our final stop in the Falkland Islands and of the cruise was to West Point Island. It didn't disappoint and had large numbers of both rock hopper penguins and albatross.
So this is our last and my favourite stop on our Falkland Islands tour. Um, we've come across another rock hopper colony and there's also an albatross colony here as well. It's really great watching the albatross just jumping off a cliff and flying straight into the wind. just stopped at Ushuaia, end of a great trip and tomorrow we fly to a new location. You'll see where that is in my next video.